And our in-depth coverage continues now on the Manchester terror attack. Many of the victims were teenagers, some even younger than that. And tonight we're hearing from a local psychologist about how to talk about the sensitive subject of terrorism to children in light of this recent attack. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian has more from the control room. Well, we've already learned that one of the victims of this horrific attack was just eight years old. So we wanted to know, with so many children impacted, how you should talk to your kids about events like these. Oh my God. A deadly attack at a concert packed with young fans. Now the topic of terrorism may come up at the dinner table. Come to the table uh, willing and able to discuss, to answer any questions that they uh, may present. Some of the concepts might be quite difficult, might be quite painful, but the conversation will have a positive outcome in the long run. Bradley Hospital psychologist Dr. Marge Passioni Dishlevsky says parents should remain calm when talking to children about traumatic events like these and assure them that everything will be okay. The single most important element in talking with kids about this kind of an event is the way in which the adult approaches the topic. She says the content of conversations should depend on the age of the child and their understanding of certain terms and phrases. Suicide bomber and first responder are phrases that we're familiar with as adults, but kids are kind of left to try to figure out what all that means. With TV and the internet, guidance and supervision are key. And she says, know when it's time to call a professional. Sleep patterns are disturbed. Um, eating patterns are disturbed, uh, the child seems to be more emotional. That's the time when you might think about um, picking up the phone, calling the pediatrician. And Dr. Passioni Dishlevsky says children with a history of anxiety or with trauma in their own past should be monitored most closely at times like these. She also says it's important for adults to sort out their own feelings about these types of attacks before sitting down to discuss them with children. Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.